Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to the problem entitled Chef and Difficult Contests from the Code Chef November 2018 Long Challenge. The problem states, oh, these difficult contests. In each contest, there are so many hard tasks Chef cannot solve. However, he knows that he can only become a successful coder if he works hard. Fortunately, he has a problem in mind for training. You are given two positive integers a and b. You may apply the following magical operation any number of times, including zero. Choose an arbitrary positive integer d and perform exactly one of the following actions. Add d to a and add d minus one to b, or add d minus one to a and add d to b. Chef is asking you to find out if it is possible to obtain a equal to b. Help him. For each test case, print a single line containing the string yes, if it is possible, or uh, if it's not possible, output no. And the constraints for this problem are that the number of test cases are going to be between 1 and 1,000, and the value of our positive integers a and b will be between 1 and 10 to the 9. So we're not actually going to look at any examples for this problem uh, because this is actually a straightforward problem if we can state it in different terms. So. The first thing that this problem is asking is, is it possible to uh, get A to be equal to B? So we'll ignore the operations that we can perform for now, but a different way of stating this is, uh, can we get the difference of A and B to be equal to zero? So that's what we'll focus on. So instead of modifying sort of a value A and a value B, we're just gonna calculate the difference and then try and get that difference to zero. Uh, the second thing we can note is that we have sort of two operations here. We choose a random integer uh, d that has to be positive and then we add d to one of the numbers and d minus one to the other number so if we focus on adding d to a and assume that our difference was calculated via a minus b this is equivalent to just adding one to the difference and if we do the opposite of that it's the equivalent of subtracting one from the difference so sort of restated this problem is can we get this value difference equal to zero and you're allowed to add uh, one to that number any number of times, or you can subtract one from that number any number of times. And uh, given these two facts, we can definitely solve this problem. So regardless of what the two values a and b are, we always are going to output yes. So uh, this problem is actually a lot simpler than it might seem upon reading it if you just sort of restate the problem in different terms. So that's all really you need to figure out is sort of this restated problem and then you can recognize that uh, it doesn't matter what the values of a and b are, you can always solve it. So let's take a look at our code. For our C++ solution, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just reading in our value t using the c in from the IO stream library and then we have a while loop uh, and for each one we're outputting yes. For the Java solution, uh, a little bit more verbose. We have to import the scanner library and then set up a scanner to read in our value t. But once we have that, the same while loop. And then for each one, we just do a print line of yes. And then last but not least, our Python solution, which is the most concise as usual. We read in t, which is uh, inferred to be an integer. And then in the range of t for each one, we output yes. And the last thing to talk about is the time complexity, which for this problem is simply going to be big O of t, the number of test cases. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.